Okay. There I am. Welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. What are we doing today? What's the objective? The objective is to, uh... Well, is to get this damn game done. So I can move on. I'm ready to move on. Like... Nothing against this game. But at, at some point you just kind of have to go, yeah, that's, that's enough. And I've reached that point. So... We're gonna try and beat the game to gay. To, to gay? Today? Ooh. There's a Freudian slip if ever there was one. That and thing is huge. It looks important. Okay. That's what she said. Huh. This could be for. Obviously, cannot interact with it. Can't interact with that either. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder what those are for. Do I even have an objective? All oh, right, I need to collect keys from the portals. That's right. Try and avoid screwing around as much as possible, but it's it's a Sonic game. That's gonna happen. I guess I should figure out like where I, uh, the portals are. I haven't found one level so far, or have I? Have I? I don't know. This field is kind of nice. A whole bunch of flowers everywhere. Cool. Oh, yeah, it's the caterpillar. Oh, right, this guy does that. Right, the momentum stops when... Can... Hang on. Sloppy with like only having one ring left over, but uh, you know, I'll take it. That's a win. A sloppy win is still a win. I love the opinion that uh, if Treasure Chef don't have any treasure in them, then they shouldn't be Treasure Chef. I agree, Harbinger. Hello, by the way. 
didn't see you show up until just now. Beautiful flower. Uh, cool. Uh oh. I hope I got all those. Oh, I definitely didn't get all of those. Damn it. Do I have to start it all over again even though the timer didn't end? That's odd. <laughs> Chris Pratt voice. Let's -a go, Mario. <laughs> hey, Luigi. It's -a the pasta time. That still bugs me, and it's going to bug me. I'm gonna see that movie, but damn it all, that that voice that Chris Pratt uses for Mario like it's it's like a little little New Yorker but at the same time it's like it's just Chris Pratt talking okay we got a gear just hanging out Hoop rock Master Ninja. As opposed to what? God! Come on, attack me. Who's covering here? Sonic qualifies as the fastest thing alive anymore. Levels that I can't find for whatever reason. It's very strange. And then we've got like these monolith things. Um, oh, here's a here's a level. Complain and you shall receive. That is not what I wanted to do. I appreciate it again. Like if. You're gonna give me a treasure chest? There better be treasure inside that shit instead of, you know, nothing. Like, that's fine, that's acceptable, because I need those in order to see, yeah, I need those in order to talk to Sage. But if you're just gonna give me like a bounce pad or a boost pad or what have you, it's not worth it. Don't give me it. Don't waste my time. Collect vault keys from portals. Okay. I wish that was skippable. It just kind of pauses everything and makes you sit there and wait. Oh, hey, chemical plant! Wow! Uh. 
sure there was probably a red ring. No? Okay. Wow, that was a quick level. Holy shit, blink and you missed it. I did not get S rank time. S rank time is 30 seconds. Let's try that again. Now that I know how quick of a level this is, I could probably... Oh, and uh, I, I pressed return to cyberspace instead of... Of course I did. Skip. Oh, let me get the mouse out of the way. Much better. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Retry. Well, how are you supposed to get that? Oh, there, there we go. Okay. Whoops. Hey, retry. What? Oh. Oh, what the hell keeps going on with that? That's weird. What the hell keeps happening? Like, that didn't happen the first round. Now I'm trying to beat it as fast as I can, and all these weird things keep happening. Hmm. Gotta read that. That failed. This is the mark of a true streamer when you get to watch, like, their multiple attempts at one level. <laughs> What the? Why? <laughs> I keep, like, doing things wrong. Like, hi. What? What? Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. Duh. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> All right. Still need to get the red ring. I don't know how I missed it the first time around, but whatever. Fuck. Sorry. So remember how I- damn it. Remember how I said that I wasn't gonna screw around on this one? Oh, that was a lie. Oh, 
like how the level theme is no pain, no gain. Wait, wait, no, come on, dude. What the frick? I bet if my reflexes were better, I'd be able to get that a lot quicker. Alas. Here, Wax. Nope. Okay. Did I do it? Oh, still missed it. Wow! You gotta do some weird stuff to get S rank on that. Shit. Oh well. Anyway, moving on. Like, I was 11 seconds off from S rank. Got one vault key. I now have six vault keys. Six vault keys. I bet if I find big, I could probably just, like, cheat my way into getting a whole bunch of vault keys. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe? Whee! I did it! Okay, I still don't understand how these work. Like, obviously I have to reconstruct this, but they're not giving me... They're not giving me the tools necessary to figure out how to do it. Like, do I... do I do this? Ah! Okay. I have to construct it properly. I think I've already screwed up. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, I've already screwed up. Everything is controlled by the silo. Which is an odd design decision. There's a lot of odd design decisions going on in this game. Ah, damn it. <laughs> well, that, that's not gonna work. Appreciate the rings. Uh, so, is, does purple have to be first? I think purple has to be first. Or yellow. Yellow has to be first, then purple. That's what it looks like. Yeah. I was never much good at 3D design. Yes. And then black and then blue. I think. Yeah. Yes? Oh wait, and then the white one, which is right there. The D-pad. Yay. That uncovered um, barely any of the map. Why? Oh, what's that over there? Maybe it's Big the Cat and I can just go fishing and... Oh, hey. God, it's so random, like... 
when you do the side loop, depending on where you are, you'll get like a heart out of it, you'll get rings out of it, you'll get uh, skill points out of it, you'll maybe even get like a hidden freaking key out of it. I'm surprised you don't... Oh, hey. I'm surprised you can't get uh, Chaos Emeralds out of random side loop drops. That would just be silly. Would it though? Would it be silly? Damn it. Stop doing that. Don't do that. If That's gonna be my big complaint my biggest complaint about this whole game so far. It's like, if you're gonna give me a treasure chest, I actually have it be treasure. Don't tease me. Oh no, it could be in this one. Oh, okay. There we go. Nice. Skip. Please. Skip. Skip. Skip! Oh, whoa, neat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is different. <laughs> okay. I can't boost at all like this. Odd. There's one red one. Ah! It is the third potential red ring that I could have gotten in this level already. Wow. I don't know what to say about that, other than bummer. Big ol' poop. That's what that was. Uh, S-rank time is two seconds faster than what I did. Um, I feel like I can... I feel like I can do that faster. Because there was a couple of times where I was like, Oh, what am I doing? I don't know. I've already missed. Okay, so that was the second red ring, but not the first red ring. Fascinating. Utterly fascinating. Oh, damn it. <laughs> ah, well, I don't think I'm gonna get the S rank on time for this one. No! Mm. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Why did that happen? Oh, Sonic. Oh, Sonic. That hedgehog. I definitely I did worse I did worse 123 try again one more time okay so where's that first red ring oh I see it duh there we go now I can just now I can just go
Oh yeah, really easy. Check that time out, one minute. Wow. Wahoo! Okay, now I can leave. See, that's why I'm, I'm trying to like, get all of the objectives done with these levels, because like, you get an extra key if you do. Yay! Another Chaos Emerald. I have a really bad feeling that I'm not gonna get this done tonight. I'm gonna try. I'm also exhausted from work, but that's like normal. But I'm gonna try. If I don't get it done tonight, the next video will be called Sonic Frontiers of Hell. Okay. Whoa, why, 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 I'm not gonna, weird things happen when you boost with Sonic, which is why Sonic works best as like a, a level-based game rather than like an open-world game because then you have like these elements where you boost and you think like oh this is gonna benefit me and then it doesn't and you wonder why and the game just kind of shrugs at you and goes mm. it's kind of like um, when Sonic first went into like the open world not not really why is things are not behaving the way that I want them to there we go why is that button not working button mm, okay we're moving on I don't need to uncover this bit of the map I don't care anymore that's weird what, what? okay that's working Alright, it just wasn't behaving on the on the rails. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of like with Sonic's first foray into 3D with Sonic Adventure, where the developers clearly were like, we're used to working with 2D, we're not really sure how to make this 3D thing work, so we're just gonna wing it. And, oh lord, did they try. It's a charming thing, but... You gotta applaud them for first time into 3D. Hey, there's another caterpillar. Don't care. I did it. There's another, another, another level nearby. It's Tuesday, in it. amount of rings when you boost or do the side loop thing. It's really weird. I think I'm getting pretty close to... I don't want to fight that. <laughs> well, game, game says you must, so I guess here we go. Oh boy. Did I just... Did I just get away with that? I got away with that! Holy crap! 
Thank you, auto combo. That's why I got that perk, because, like, auto combo. It just makes sense. Oh, you guys, this is the bounce pad. Yep. Hey, weird. Well, what's up with bounce pad? I don't care. I don't care. I care about that. This is probably also not treasure. Because why would there be two? Oh, I stand corrected. Yeah. Give me that chaos emerald. Skip and skip. Mr. Uh, Mr. Old Man. Tasha couldn't sleep. Uh, yes. Give me all of that. I've collected so many of those since. Wow, yeah, that went up to 51 and 44. Uh... I am tired of returning to the dream. I wish I could return to the dream. I have no desire to fight those things. I don't think there's any, uh... Some of the enemies don't have any real benefit to fighting them. It's kind of strange. That was a really long way of getting to where I needed to. I need 22 more heart tokens. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wow, where was I? I was right there. Well, at least I almost have enough keys to uh, get another Chaos Emerald when I do wind up getting more tokens. Like, this is... This is... Meh. This is meh. Like, I never thought I'd say that about another Sonic the Hedgehog game. But this is really meh. Like... And I say that with as much fondness as I can for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, did that actually do something? Hang on. Like, there are cool moments in this game, but, like, the whole open world thing, where they, like, where they break it up into, like, sections where you have to, like, do these grindy rail sections. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. What? 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 Huh? It's draining my rings. Why? Oh, there we go. I see. I gotta take out the pillars as fast as I can. Possibly can. What? Why? Okay, I think I've found a new least favorite anime to fight. See, this is what I'm talking about, like... I could go, like, to a direct path and fight this thing directly, but because of the open world nature of the game, the developers thought, oh, maybe we could do, like, these really cool moments where, like, Sonic 
grinds on rails and has to like do all this other stuff in order to get to the objective. That sounds really cool, doesn't it? No. It's unnecessary. There's no other Sonic game that does that. At least I got a gear out of it. I... An enemy that drains your rings. Where did that gear even go? It should just drop right on top of you. What do I know about game development? What do I know about game design? I only play these things. Nothing. Oh. See, again, pleasantly surprised when it's a actually something. I guess that's why they did it that way. It's like, oh, but, you know, those times when there's actually treasure inside of the treasure chest, they'll be really grateful for it. It's still bullshit. I desperately want to like this game. I really do. But I find myself at odds with it. Which way am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. Is this that one that I was just trying to do or no? No, it's not. It's a different one. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a level over there. That's fine. I didn't want to use the map after uncovering the map at all. No big deal. Really? Does this go- No, it goes- Hmm, why? And like all these one-way paths, that's annoying. Like, why can't I go backwards on one of these paths? Just let me do what I want to do. Let me go where I want to go. Don't tell me where I can go and what I can do. That's not the point of an open world. Like, the point of an open world is to leave it up to the player where to go and what to do. Like, to... To a degree. Like, you do have to... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, like, you hit the wrong thing and you wind up going halfway across the map because it was like, oh, what's this boost pad do? Which is I, why I tend to avoid the boost pads now. Boost pads. Sheesh. Oh, hey, I'm almost at still level 30. I think I can afford something cool at that point. I think. A side scroller? What? Uh, why did the boost stop? Ah, jokes on you. Ah. I hate that. I'm concerned that I haven't found a single red ring. No, no, yep. I totally screwed this up.
two. I want that, thank you. Oh, missed two. Uh, S rank time is a no-go on that one. Mm. I at least want the red ring. If I don't get S rank time, that's one thing, but I want all the red rings. Because that's important. One right there. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, I have all the red rings. Now, let's see how fast I can get through this. That's okay. That's alright. We'll move on. Three out of four, potentially five. I'm okay with that. Yes, I know. I have to collect Sage's memory tokens. I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Can I just skip all that and get the Chaos Emeralds? Is that a thing? Is that not a thing? Is that not allowed? No, you have to follow the story. Why? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, these damn things. Hey. How many of these damn things are there? Four? Five? Six? What? Don't mind me, just gonna go through the, the wall. Seriously? What? At least there's only one left. Yeah, I did it. Fuck no! Stop! No! Woo! Oh wait. I believe I can get something new. Not that. Not that. Uh, Psy... Quickly Psy loop around the enemy when the Psy loop meter has maxed out and turns blue. Got it. Got it. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that one though. I like to save up for the big things. See, this is cool, like, letting me just run through a big open field like this. That's really fun. I like that. And, like, when the little seagulls and everything pop up to, like, just float along with you for a little bit, that's really cool. This isn't cool. 
Like, how do you get over there? Mm, I don't know. You gotta figure it out. You gotta play the game. You gotta... No, wait. Wasn't I just here? Wasn't I just here? I'm being really ranty today. How many more? I need three more tokens. Okay. There's a way to get over there. Or if I have to, like, talk to Sage, do all the things. Or I won't do that. Now what? <laughs> now what? Oh, it's a meter shower. Okay. That's fine. Oh, is that, like, the, um, the Blood Moon mechanic from Breath of the Wild? Where, like, everything respawns? Oh, you killed it, everything? Well, surprise, we respawned it for you. <laughs> great. That's what I always wanted. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Eight crazy nights or something. So bizarre. I don't understand why this is. Ah, -hoo. look, a fishing! Hooray! I never thought that I would be so happy to see that. I can get sage tokens out of this. I can get. Hey, Sonic. Keys, Welcome I can back. get gears. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Go fish. Let's see what kind of fun things we get out of this. Oops. And I screwed that up immediately. I remember how to do this, don't worry. Well, I can't. Uh, those are very endangered and were have thought to have been extinct. Am I wrong? That's the fish that thought that they thought was extinct, and then it came back. Or it didn't. It didn't come back, but like they were just discovered living like decades after the last one was spotted. I went to that hollow earth place. Ooh! That's fun. It's the first time catching an octopus. To get some treasures, please. Oh yeah, swordfish. Sorry, it's a marlin. Someone described the Sonic Frontiers as if someone played Breath of the Wild while drunk and then tried to replicate the experience while hungover. You know that is um that is sadly exactly what happened with Sonic Frontiers. I would agree with that. Like, oh wow, this is a really cool experience with with Breath of the Wild. Let's try and do that with Sonic. Um, excellent is attire. I got 48 tokens for that? That's not even a fish and I got more tokens than a fish is worth for that? Probably because I'm cleaning up the pond, I guess? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, that is exactly the experience that I'm having with Sonic Frontiers. It's like, it's hungover Breath of the Wild. That is so accurate. A red giant isopod. Oh, 
Ooh. Ooh, wow, I was almost not prepared for that one. One gold card for a three ring treasure? Fascinating. Not gonna say anything about it, but fascinating. It's uh, Tuna. Cool. I like Tuna. That's better. 48 tokens for that Lunker. That's better. Alright, what can I buy? To try? I'll let Trade token. Uh, let's do Sage's Memory token. Is that... Do I only get, like, one? Oh, I'm sorry. I need gold... Gold cards for that. So what is the point of the fish, like, experience or whatever? Yep, that is one. That is one. Hmm. Uh... Do I just blow it on that, or do I get vault keys? I'm gonna get vault keys Would instead. Would you like to try? Wait, oh, okay, so once I run out of the gold cards, then I can use my fish tokens to buy things. There we go. Cool. There we go. <laughs> I can do this a lot of times. I wonder who I <laughs> I wonder if the developers intended for this. Probably not. <laughs> Sonic Cast Rod pulls out a dead body. You found a victim of the Black Dahlia Killer. 12 tokens, yeah. Oh god, that went on for some time. Wow. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't really need anything else. How many keys do I need to do all the Chaos Emeralds? I don't know. That's a good question. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. I'll let you borrow a rod. Well, since there's actually like a point to doing this. Fished up a zombie. Whoa! It's a hammerhead shark! 48 tokens! That's cool. Wow. Fish up some really varied stuff in there. It's a Gorami. Not a tiger Gorami, but uh, it's a Gorami just the same. Oh. Big treasure. Nope. Why yellow spring? 48 tokens. Again, I must be getting that many tokens because I'm cleaning up the pond. Like, get that junk out of here. Here's 48 tokens for cleaning up the pond. Get out of here. Oh, golden koala can. Oh, what's that worth? 48 tokens. <laughs> Okay. I mean... I accept it for what it is. Hey! A rainbow colored frog! Don't lick that! 24 tokens! Or is it crawfish? Cause like I I always see it spelled crayfish, but I've always heard it pronounced crawfish. 
So what is the correct spell, or er, correct, holy shit. I'm pretty sure that's the correct, another golden chest! Whoa, what's inside? Three gold cards, whoa! I'm off to spend, spend, spend. Like Yar har. I'll let you Shut up. Uh, do 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 do. Sold out. I am completely sold out for Chaos Vault Cap. Chaos Emerald Vault Keys. Let's make some noise. All right, that's enough. No. <laughs> uh, very, very cute there, Ranger. It's only a crayfish if it comes from the cray region of France. <laughs> a vault was unsealed and can now be opened. You don't say! <laughs> you don't say! <laughs> oh man, can I... Can I please just like skip? Oh my god, it's still gotta do the roulette thing. Come on. Come on. Come on now. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. God, I don't even there it is. No. Whatever. I've got, like, everything I need to to complete this level now, I think. I could be wrong. I've got, like, 150 of those damn tokens. I probably don't need anything else now. I don't care about this roulette thing. Hello. Skip. What do you got to say? I oh, you're gonna you lock this in. Once you find a way to activate the starting device and power the statue. Cool. Sure would have been smoother sailing if we'd been working together from the start, but well, I guess I had to earn your trust first, huh? Uh, Me. Do you know how to activate the starting device? I don't. I maybe you're about to. Else up until now, haven't I? Don't sweat it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I like how the roulette wheel just popped up like ominously, like <laughs> Uh, let's see, Silo? Nope, that didn't do it. Where's Tails when you need him? I had nine viewers at one point and then I started fishing. Still going. Nothing outlasts the roulette wheel. 
So what does this do? Cool, a bridge. Is it a bridge too the near or a bridge clear. too far? We must acquire the Chaos Emeralds with expediency. You got it, Sage. <laughs> We've run into each other so many times, but I only recently learned your name. You could have told me sooner, you know. We were enemies. Furthermore, my name holds no meaning. Well, sure it does. I mean... Eggman named you that for a reason. That means you're important to him. You think he cares about me? Well, sure. Who will? In his own way. Hey, time's a waste. <laughs> Let's wrap way. this up. Yeah. Ah, and that creates the bridge to the Chaos Emerald. Aha! Uh -huh. Can't get to the Chaos Emerald if you don't get all the Sage tokens. Isn't that funny? It's so funny. That's good gameplay design. Samuel. Skip. Skip. Get the Chaos Emerald. I like how it's just like, yeah, go. Get them. Do I need to do this? I'll give it a shot. did it right okay yep okay I was hesitant there and thought that uh, I wasn't doing it right but I was All right gosh do you, does anybody else remember the first island where like doing one of these puzzles would uncover a huge chunk of the map and now it's like uh yeah you gotta do like a hundred thousand of these things before uh before you unlock any significant portion of the map because uh that's what i said Try that again? Not really. But if I have to. Cool. Oh, cool. A key. Not that I need him, but, you know, it's nice to have him. Uh, I guess I'll do... You know, might as well... Actually enjoy these, uh, cyberspace levels, quote-unquote. I don't mind them too much. It's, uh... 
delaying me from beating the game though, so that's the only downside. Oh, come on. I almost launched myself right off the map doing that. I don't... I don't like that you lose momentum when you do that. It doesn't feel good. Oh god, hmm. Again, with the whole, like, loss of momentum thing there. Doesn't feel good. No, I was supposed to jump there. Shit. <laughs> Missed the red ring. Not that I need it. I think I'm pretty much good to go on all the everything from cheating for, you know, big the cat fishing. But, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to get all of them. Ow. I definitely did like none of the objectives on that one, but that's okay. I don't need to. Get the Chaos Emerald. I got one vault key. I'm on the way. I'm going. I'm going. I promise. What is the way forward? Heckin' Maybe it's this way Who would have thought that my absolute hatred for Big the Cat would have what, would have wound up being the thing that actually made me skip a whole bunch of nonsense Who would have thought? Not me I guess we'll do some story stuff with her. So, we've got satellite maps today, but I don't think they can compete with direct brain downloads. I mean, I can roll with it now that I know it's alien tech, but it's still a bit weird to me. 
Like, why are the villages missing when everything else is so detailed? The ancients had a difficult time adapting to this world, adjusting to the new flora and fauna, dealing with technological incompatibilities. Their settlements were under constant revision. The map was designed for a universal knowledge of the islands and their facilities. I guess that makes sense. And it's probably a good idea to limit the info to make sure whoever can access it can be trusted first. Yep. Makes sense to me. Way off this place, please. I think that's just more of the way forward. I, I'm pretty much sure that I have to use the bridge. No, thank you. That's all that I have left is those three. And then it's boss time. And then the game's over. Unless there's a secret Eggman boss. There usually is. It's like, you know, you beat the main boss, the quote unquote main boss, and then, oh. Eggman was secretly building up power this entire time. Surprise! Except not, because we've all been through this before. The music is nice, I agree with that. I absolutely agree with that. It's very serene and, uh... It's different. Which... Again, is is a bit of a well, it's a bit of a clone of Breath of the Wild. This Breath of the Wild was all about that serene, simplistic soundtrack. Now, the big deviation between the two is treasures. You'd be right at home here, Nux. Yep. The big deviation is when you get to the boss fights and. It's, uh, Sonic Frontiers soundtrack like goes complete frickin' like thrash screamo death metal. <laughs> it's hilarious. Let's get, get the Chaos Emerald. I guess the big objective right now is to just get the last of the Chaos Emeralds. Which again, I'm not really opposed to because I, I want to be done. No offense to Sonic Frontiers, or maybe all the offense to Sonic Frontiers, but I'm I'm gonna move on from this. No, uh, Red Pillar, Red Rocket, Raggy. 
we're just gonna continue on. No, okay, fine. I tried. What happened? Wow, that was weird. Okay. Kick. <laughs> wow, that was weird. Well, I bet this is a boost pad. Wow, weird. If I understood those visions correctly, the ancients came from space, right? Correct. And they were wearing things that looked like the Coco, but they didn't seem, I don't know, alive. Do you know what the Coco really are? They originated as lucky charms for the ancients. Really? They were never designed to contain their data, their wills. Yeah, but the Coco I've found do hold the memories of their creators. So it's just kind of like a... Uh... changed them. Or maybe the Coco wanted to keep their memories alive after they were gone. Like a symbiotic relationship? I'm not going to say it's symbiotic relationship because that just sounds stupid. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> well, that's what you get for pronouncing symbiotic in. that's what it seems like to me like the Coco may have been like lucky charms for the ancient ones but like they they kept the ancient ones kept the Coco inside of their bodies like every one of them it wasn't even a fashion statement it was like a cultural thing where it was like you have a Coco inside of you so maybe unintentionally they were like yeah these things control these things record our memories so this is a way of like making sure that we're remembered when we pass on. I don't know. Maybe. I'm, I'm just so going off using of the chaos emeralds. what the game is giving me to work off. Of. They're from space. Yes, they were central to the ancient's power and native to their world. They are the only things that can awaken all the functions on the island and were taken away with the last survivors to another land. That part I don't buy. Without the emerald's power, the island's functions eventually shut down. That is why I drew them here. I hope to use the Ancients' technology to stop the emergence of their old foe. Like, that part I don't buy, where it's like, oh yeah, the Chaos Emeralds were actually from space. Mm, no. I'm sorry, but no. That doesn't sit well with me. Like, this entire time where, like, the, the Chaos Emeralds were just like this... Uh, magical source of power, and then you're gonna tell me that they actually came from space? I need more to go off of than just, you know, oh yeah, they, they were always from space, like, they're ancient alien artifacts that, you know, just so happen to grant those that collect them all the ability to turn yellow and have unlimited power. <laughs> oh, no big deal. Oh, okay. That clears that up, thank you.
excellent question, Deathlock997. Um, I wish I could give insight onto that one. I've never played Immortals Phoenix Rising, even though, oh god, here we go. <laughs> um, I've always been interested in it, like, since I saw the initial trailer for it, it looked interesting, but I've just never been able to get up to it, and I realized that your question was directed at Sir Ruby Ranger, but I'm answering anyways. Are you kidding me? I don't even have enough sage tokens to continue on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, we go we go back to uh we go back to fishy catman. Which I think he's over this way. Oh dear. Fishy McCatman. Let's get us some more free tokens. Oh yeah, he's over this way, I think. Fifteen more tokens needed. Seriously? It's always something. Not that I really care. Yes, it is. Where is Jake the cat? I think he's that way. Well, this is one way to pad time on the stream, I suppose. bit of a loss. I don't know where big the cat is. Uh, I don't think he's going to show up on the map because I haven't actually uncovered that much. Oh hey, there's a whole nother level there. I think I've collected way too many keys. Uh, where's big? Is that big? No, that's a Coco thing. Shoot. Well, this is what I get for not uncovering more of the map, I guess. Oh, we're moving sideways. Oh, okay.
strengths, I think. The heck is big. I'll, I passed by him on the way over there, too, so... Um, uh, maybe he's over there. Yes, yes, I believe yes. This is big. Okay. This is big. Southern fishing spot. Number of cast 15. Is that how many left I have on there? Hey, Sonic. Would you like to try? Go fish. It's your eye like a big pizza pie. That's a more. <laughs> There's an actual like joke lyrics to go along with that to make it even more punny, but I don't remember it. So that's the best you got. Caught a carp. What a piece of carp. fishing thing. Another gold card from Visa. I had a better joke in my head. Four tokens. If I have people coming back from earlier, I swear I haven't been fishing this entire time. Ooh, a ring box. Get 48 tokens. I'm glad I got tokens and not rings, because I'm pretty sure I'm full up on rings. Careful, that's the sharp spiny. I wonder how many casts I have left. Coco scroll. I, I think that's gonna be enough. That should get me what I need. Should. Would you like to try? I'll let you. Let's just get to an even 200 and frickin' I don't know, 20, 220? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about good. Would you like to try? No, I want the noise to stop, thank you. You haven't heard good things about Immortals Phoenix Rising? Really? Wait, I can fast? Wait. 
F I'm sorry, fast travel? Fast travel. Hang on. I can fast travel? Hang on. Have I always been able to fast travel and I just didn't know it? Uh <laughs> Steam just tattled on you, Harbinger, if you're still watching. Which I know you're not, you're playing Dark Tide now. Tisk tisk. A scroll for you, dude. Whatever. No. No. Stop. I just want to go to where I'm supposed to go and do what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to do anything else. Please just let me go. There is a chaos emerald inside. Your power is required to access it. Oh, really? First, we gotta open that door. Big enough door. Are you good with hanging around? I thought you were supposed to be looking after Eggman while he helps hunt down the emeralds. I will be at his side when he needs me. For now, we must focus on the task at hand. Use your power to start the system. Hurry, our time is limited. Okie dokie. Another one of these. What are you doing? Oh no. was not prepared for that. I'm not a gambling man, so I'm not going to take you up on that ranger, but uh, I am going to say that uh, she's probably not. Ah, don't do that, controller. Open sesame. Hey, it worked. Emerald number six, here we come. So, earlier you said I had zero chances of winning. You change your mind yet? Hope so. No, but I have not run a simulation on our present circumstances either. Ah, yeah. So, you're saying there maybe is a chance. <laughs> 
I am so you're safe saying there's a chance. Desperate situation. The threat we face is beyond imagination. Mm -hmm. Hey, if there's even a 1% chance I can turn that despair of yours into hope, I won't disappoint. Sure. Let's get the chaos emerald. Come on, really? Okay. At least I didn't prolong that. Skip. And skip. One more. I gotta hurry up. Uh oh. What? You're not fast enough, so I found it for you. Found what? Go ahead and beat that giant. Oh, well, thanks. Don't you dare lose it. Now, why would I want to disappoint you? Yay, Super Sonic. <laughs> There's got to be an explanation for why she tur she sometimes turns blue. I I need clarification on that and I need closure on that. I assume it has something to do with her going outside the boundaries of her program. I don't know. Oh shit, he got a gun. Supreme. Its name is Supreme. Okay. Aha! Nope. The camera shifts so that it looks like I'm supposed to be hitting the, uh, those buttons. But I don't know if that is stopping. like a direct, a direct fight, like I don't really have to do anything super special. Uh, here we go. Oh. Oh, damn. Hard light angel wings. That's, that's kind of cool. Got all kinds of bullet health. Yeah, there we go. Kick ass. a cool attack. Missed the prompt on that. Oh shit, he's gonna shoot me. That 
that was too easy. That was way too easy. That can't be the, the way this ends. It has to be like a second thing that pops out of this or like something else that happens. Maybe it shifts and transforms into something else. But that was way too easy. I don't trust it. Especially with the music still going. Oh, never mind. That can't be it. That was too easy. Like that, that boss fight was way too easy. That was the easiest boss fight out of the entire game. That can't be it. It's gonna be something that comes out of this. I'm gonna have to fight that, and that's where the true challenge is. Right? Is that it? That's what I'm asking. All we did was chase it out of its shell. Ah, it's retreating okay. into space to regain its true form. Even Supersonic won't be able to stop it. I know what I must do. I must leave you. I understand. Go. Fulfill your function. Is that robotic actually showing some motion? That was... What is this game? Hurry, before it regains its full strength. Ladies first! Uh, if there's... One major thing I have to praise this game for is two things. Graphics are great, the story is great. The writing has been on top of it. Be careful, dear daughter. Aww. He created her to be a, a daughter. Aww. That was really touching. The dark planet will enter the atmosphere in five minutes. The end. He took your home world. He took your lives. Are you going to let him do it all over again? I need your help. We can end this. Right? Yeah. Robotic Slime gave, gave me goosebumps too. Like, that was really... Like, wow. for quick time events. That's really cool. Gang is all back. All right, we did it. <gasps> Woohoo! Yes. All right. Yeah. 
I have to be a little harder on the knees. <laughs> I love happy endings. Drinks all around. <laughs> Sad. Dang! Okay, so I know I gave this game a really bad time. Like, with the open worldness, which I do have issues with. Like, the way that they went about doing the open worldness and everything didn't really work a whole lot. For me, anyways. Um, I thank you, Harbinger. Um, that being said, this was a really entertaining game. Um, if, if I had known that you could totally cheese things by going fishing with Big the Cat and like collecting a whole bunch of tokens and keys and everything and completely skipping most of the open world stuff, I would have done that a long time ago and probably beaten this game a lot faster, but that's in hindsight, which is always 2020, so what do I think? I, I think, um, I think despite the flaws with the open world, like, it felt fun to play as Sonic and do combat. Um, once you get the auto combat, or the auto combo ability, I should say, the combat becomes a lot easier and a lot brainless, which worked for me because I am very used to Sonic the Hedgehog being like uh, you press a button to jump and then another button to attack or even just, you know, going all the way back to the beginning of Sonic the Hedgehog and like just pushing one button to bounce off of enemies and that defeats them. So. I was very grateful to get the auto combo ability and just like push button, push the attack button and have the combos do themselves. That was great. Uh, I understand that's not for everybody. They like to have control, but that was work for me. So the game offered a surprising amount of depth in the combat. Like I said, you know, you could control the combos if you wanted to. And you could not control the combos if you wanted to. So I had zero problems with that. Um, the only problems that I ran into were the overly complicated like sub-boss creatures like the red towers, the squids, um, the spiders. The spiders were fine, but I'm just using that as a, a uh, example. Uh, but it was, it was the overly complicated like nature of those that really was a downside and a couple of the boss fights were just like huh what do I do until because they don't they kind of tell you like oh this is how you parry but they don't tell you how to effectively parry they don't really like give you good examples on how to do that so it just leaves you up to like oh, if you don't parry a lot then you don't figure it out which on the wyvern boss fight I was totally helpless but meh combat was fine it was different I liked it past uh, story was really good um, it was a lot better than some previous entries in the Sonic franchise and I appreciate that and that's mostly due to Ian Flynn being the writer of the story and he's one of the writers on the current uh, IDW Sonic the Hedgehog comic series which to have him on board 
is really cool. And there were a few... Oh, are we going to get a post-credits? Yep. I'll shut up. So, that was fun. <sighs> but I guess it's time we got moving. I know you all have big plans. Uh, yes, Ranger, You're I am going to be playing the story DLC when it drops. I want to see how all these characters play. Make a road trip out of it. It'll be good to get back to my island. At least for a while. We're wasting daylight. Let's go. Sticks is a reference to the IDW comic, so yeah. Ian Flynn being the writer on the comics is gonna throw references to the comics in here. I think there was a reference to Whisper if you get a certain dialogue option. Um, but yeah, and that officially makes the IDW comics canon at that point, so the, the comics now being crossed over into a, an official Sonic the Hedgehog game, that makes the IDW comics canon. So whatever's happening in those comics is canon to the Sonic the Hedgehog story, which is really cool. Um, what else did I think about this? Music was good. It was, there was one bit of music that I absolutely could not stand, but that was because that was the Wyvern boss battle uh, music, and it just got on my nerves after a while because I was struggling so much with that boss fight, and that's okay. But otherwise, it was a great track. Like, all the boss fight tracks were really cool and different. Like, I think that was overall, like, what I have to say the most about this one is that it's a different Sonic the Hedgehog game. Which is an absolutely good thing. Like it need, the franchise needed a shakeup, and having an exploration into the open world aspect or genre, I should say, is a good step for Sonic. It's a step in the right direction for what Sonic needs to evolve in as a 3D game. You had that kind of like in Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure really did have, like, an open-world feel to it, but it didn't, like, explore too much on that. It was mostly, like, the open world was there to just, like, get from point A to point B. Whereas this felt more like an actual open world, where there was, like, side quests to do, and things to unlock, and, you know, the fishing minigame, and all kinds of fun little things to do. Not all of them were fun. A lot of them were tedious, but uh, for the most part it was fun. I, I, I can't really complain too much. The pathing could have been better. They, couldn't, they could have used a lot less of the grind rails and boost pads and jump pads and what have you and just make it more like natural. Like, have some of that, but don't make it, like, so overly... Like, you're... <laughs> to get from one point to another, you're spending, like, 30 seconds on a grind rail segment, and that's just blah. But... Uh... I think that I am landing on... Like, an 8 out of 10 for this. If it wasn't for the weird open worldness and the things that they did with the open world where like they cut off some things Oop, more cutscene i would give it a higher score but as it stands eight out of ten okay let's watch I didn't like that smile. Oh, that's my girl. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what they're going to do with the story DLC on this, especially with that last little post-credits cutscene there. 
Um, I'm also very interested to see how Amy, Knuckles, and Tails are going to play. With what kind of new features they're going to give them. Uh, I assume Amy is going to have her hammer back and Knuckles is just going to be like, you know, uh, an action-adventure brawler kind of a thing. I don't know what Tails is going to get. Maybe he'll get some fun gadgets to use. I don't know. But it'll be interesting to play through that and, you know, see what what else Sonic Frontiers has to offer in the future here. So, uh, that being said, I think, uh, I think I will end the stream here. This has been, uh, almost a couple hours, actually. So, not bad. Not bad for a stream. I didn't do everything in the game, but that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> um, a big shout out to everybody that, uh, did watch these streams. I appreciate you uh, tuning in and watching when you could. Appreciate you taking some time out of your evening, your day, to watch me play some Sonic Frontiers and get frustrated sometimes. But yeah, um, thank you, Ranger. Thank you. I knew I could do it too. It's just, yeah, getting through a couple of things. So yeah, this was fun. This was a good time. So, uh, I think, uh, I'm not going to make any promises on what I'll be playing next, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun, whatever I play next. So, uh, stick around, stay tuned for more. And, uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their time, wherever they are, their evening, their day, what have you, uh, go do something fun for yourselves. Have some chocolate. Chocolate's good for you. Unless you're allergic to chocolate, then have, have something sweet, you know, have something that makes you happy. There you go. All right. Thanks, everybody. Take it easy. See you next time.